Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to configure LDAP on Palo Alto Firewall. So my LDAP IP address is 192.168.10.171 and this is my admin user on LDAP. So that is network class slash administrator. We can use two port number that is first one is 389. So if you are using this port number 389, here all the message or all the information will be under plain text and the other port number is 636 that is uh, used for the SSL connection so here all the information will be secured it will be not in plain text it will be in encrypted form so to configure let's open a Palo Alto firewall and let me log in So to configure the LDAP on this uh, firewall, we need to go under device. Then under server profiles, click on this LDAP. Then click on add. Here you can give any profile name. I am going to give uh, LDAP profile. And that server list. So we are going to add our server here, give any name, I am giving LDAP server and the IP address I am going to use the same, this IP address 192.168.10.171 just copy and paste here and the port number I am going to use 389 here. Okay. So under bind, for, so this is my active directory, so under type select this active directory and give the bind en. So under bind en you have to give the admin username. So my username is networking class administrator, copy and paste it here and give the password for this user. same password and he, this is not the secure connection so you have to uncheck this uncheck this uh, require SSL DLS secured connection and under bind in if you scroll down now we got this DC is networking class and DC equal to com select this if this username and password is incorrect, you will not get any option here. It will be none. You will get none option if, if, if your credential is wrong and if that Palo Alto firewall is unable to connect with the LDAP. In that case, you will not able to get that uh, DC information. However, in my case, everything is fine. I uh, That username and password is working fine. So now click on OK. For the verification, you can go under user identification. You can go under user identification and then click on this group mapping setting. So here you can click on add. Give any name. I will give LDAP group. And the, select the server profile that you have created. So this is the profile we have created under LDAP uh, server profile. So I am selecting LDAP profile. Go under group list. Now here we, we got all the details. Okay. You can scroll it down. And I just wanted to add these all the users here. So you can add it domain users admin users it is up to you what you want to add included group then click on ok and commit so 
so this is uh, these all are the step that you need to follow to configure the LDAP you can go through it and if you are finding any difficulty please let me know or you can also give any comment in the comment box thank you so much for watching